Hello everybody. Our next camera is another little point and shoot. It's the Minolta Freedom Zoom Explorer EX. Um, it's known as the Riva Zoom 75W in the rest of the world. Uh, it's from about 1997. I got that date off of Collective Land because it's really hard to find accurate info on this. Uh, this is the panorama and date version. Um, some of them just say multi-AF here and have neither. It seems to be an all or nothing with the panorama and the, and the date imprinting. Has an autofocus 28 to 75 millimeter power zoom. Um, at widest, 28 millimeters. It's f3.5. Kind of standard for these guys when they were computerizing everything and fast film was getting less grainy. At 75 millimeters, uh, it's pretty dim. It's f8.9. Minimum seems to be f16. I had to calculate that. I got the little fold-out sheet that passes for a manual, but it doesn't say that. Uh, the lens is four elements in four groups. Uh, it has an integral shutter. It's not a focal plane shutter. And that goes from that goes from a five hundredth of a second to eight seconds. And it's another one that's kind of weird. The computer's doing stuff they don't really tell you about. It may be two seconds longest at 28 millimeters. I haven't gone into super low light and forced it to test it. Uh, it has a three beam active infrared autofocus, so it's actually doing triangulation. It's not doing uh, phase or contrast detection. Autofocus and auto exposure both lock with a half press. So you can't do the thing where you get up close and meter and then back off and recompose because it's also locked to the focus. Uh, the mode dial, um, it has auto, macro, uh, 16 inches, night portrait that uh, does a slow shutter plus a flash, and landscape slash night mode, which uh, locks the focus at infinity and disables the flash. Um, the other button here in the center is the drive mode. Single shot, a 10 second uh, self timer. Uh, it does do 1.2 frames per second continuous. And then the next setting is for a remote, which amazingly, I got with this camera and it works. It just has a shutter button and a two second delay, but it's kind of cool. I got a pretty complete kit. This even had the battery in it, as did the camera. Um, the flash, which is this button over to the left, auto, auto plus, well, let me take it off of the uh, remote control modes there. Okay, so it has auto, auto with red eye, little eye, icon, fill flash where it always fires, and then off where, you know, a museum, something like that, where you don't want to use a flash at all. The flash range is uh, 0.4 to 5.9 meters, so that's about 16 inches to 20 feet when the lens is set to 28 millimeters, and 0.4 to 2.3 meters gives a long range of about 7.5 feet when you're zoomed out to 75 millimeters. It takes one CR123 battery, the stubby little barrel battery. Um, I have no idea how old the one in here is, but that's what I'm still running on right now. They say you can do 13 24 exposure rolls using the flash 50% of the time. So, I don't know, apparently it's not too hungry even though it's got the transformers kind of thing where it spits out the lens and pops up the flash when you turn it on. Um, it accepts DX encoded film and it's one of them where you load in the right side of the chamber and then it pulls it across to the left. Goes from 25 to 3200. I have not been able to find out what it does if you're using a non DX encoded canister. It's like most cameras, it'll default to the slowest. So that would give you ISO 25. But one of the reasons that I decided to shoot with another point and shoot so soon, um, there was 
film in this thing and it was exposed and it actually came out uh, some light leaks but you know thrift store or something where somebody was looking at this and decided not to pick it up you know the back was probably opened a few times but the snapshots are pretty good um, I ran a test roll through it it was that crummy photo works it really was the last roll um, but my chemicals were pretty well shot so they're really really grainy because the scanner really had to boost it to get anything out of them um, so I shot again I shared a half roll of T-Max uh, 100 between this and a Smina 8 and I got some really nice shots um, kinda like the Pentax that I shot with it's beefy for a pocketable camera but you know it's a capable little shooter it's pretty cool um, you don't get much control, but for snapshots or uh, some of the reviews I found online, like interest adjusters, construction sites, where they're just taking pictures of things. Hey, this thing came cracked. You know, hey, this thing's broken. This hailstorm did this to my car. It's great for that. It takes good pictures. You don't need to get enough control maybe to take great pictures, but good. Um, and it was pretty complete. Batteries, remote, manual, little padded case. So probably will not cycle back around and shoot with this guy again for a while, but I'll see you then.